In this video, we're going to talk about how to trim text. And this is essentially removing white space from the beginning and end of text. So I'm gonna create a few variables here so that we can see how this works. So I'm gonna set X is equal to just a sentence. This is great with a period. I'm gonna set Y is equal to this is great with a period and then an extra space and C is equal to a space in front of this is great with a period. So now if I highlight and run these, we're gonna get these three variables in here. And here you can pretty clearly sh see that there is an extra space. But whenever you have this in a data frame, so if we created kind of a, we're gonna do C for column is equal to C, X, Y, Z. And we can run that. And then we're gonna do data.frame of C. Go ahead and run this. So you can see that you can kind of tell that these are a little bit off. Oh, let me set this to DF real quick and run that. And so if we open up DF, you can, you can tell that this one is probably got a space there, but it's really hard to tell that these two are not actually different from each other. So you could easily be trying to match these two and it's not matching or it's not pulling or something like that. So that's why it's important to have this ability to trim within R. So if we check and say, is X equal to Y, you see that that's false. And if X is equal to Z, you see that's false. And Y is equal to Z is also false because of these spaces here. It is matching the exact string. So it's not going to see these as equal because they have these extra spaces. So what we can do is use the command. I'm going to do this in my file. STR underscore trim. So this is a string trim and we can use our parentheses and then we're going to run this on Y. So when we run this, you see it removed that backspace there. But if we just ask for Y, it still has that space here. And that's because we have to reset it. So if we do Y is equal to that string trim and we're gonna run that, now our y has that space removed and if we do z is equal to str trim of z and we run that we see that that also removed that leading space so now if we say x is equal to y we get true x is equal to z we get true and then y is equal to z we get true now they're all equal but this doesn't actually change our DF here. These are still the same. So if we wanted to quickly, we could regenerate this and run each one, or we could actually run it on this full column here. So what we can actually say is DF, we're gonna pull out the column of C, and then we're going to say is equal to STR trim. So this is saying get this column, run every row of this column through the trim function and then set it equal to the new column. So when we run that, you can see if we come back over to our DF, these all line up now and they all actually don't have those leading or trailing spaces. They're all actually equal. And that's a way to be able to easily trim off leading and trailing white spaces from your actual text. This is something that you can really easily find in data set and not understand why you're not pulling up the right information. And it's just simply because there's an extra space in there. 